So that's the the videos you see of the twin taking off and immediately rolling over on its back. That's just a low level spin. So let's talk about soft field for a second. One of our performance numbers that we're going to discuss is VMC, and that's our uh, min control speed. So that's the speed that if we go lower than that, we're not going to be able to maintain directional control of the airplane during a specific configuration. And that specific configuration broadly is with my uh, critical engine failed in windmilling, my operative engine at full power. So in that configuration, if we get below VMC, we're not going to be able to control the airplane. As a rule, you never want to be in the air below VMC uh, with the power in, in a multi, right? So that, let's, let me explain that. So during takeoff, if you have full power in and you do a soft field technique where you pull back on the yoke and you let the airplane get airborne as soon as it can, well, it's going to lift off pretty soon because it's got a lot of excess thrust right now because both engines are working. But let's say you get airborne at 50 knots, the VMC is at 80, and you lose an engine at 50 knots. Well, you're so far below VMC that you're immediately going to go into a really hard end of that dead engine. You're going to try to correct with aileron, and you're probably going to stall the dead engine wing, and you're going to spin. So that's the, the videos you see of the twin taking off and immediately rolling over on its back. That's just a low-level spin. And if we do a soft field uh, takeoff and we get into that scenario, that, that would be opening us up for a very bad outcome. So we don't do soft field takeoffs or soft field landings in a multi-engine airplane.